meal, but you're too lazy to leave your home and go buy one? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Me too. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a candle. I'm going to talk about the history of the candle, what candles are used for, and then I'm going to make a candle. Um, candles have been used for thousands of years, thousands of years, and up until <laughs> the 1900s, they were the single source of light and heat. Candles also have a rich tradition in religious ceremonies. Today, candles are no longer a source of light in some places, but are used more often now in religious services and are burned for their scent in the common household. Um, what candles are used for? Candles are used for many things like heat, um, light, and their scent. People use candles. <laughs> People use candles to make rooms feel comfortable and cozy. Also, candles make great gifts. So what you're going to need to make the candle is shortening, but I put it in a butter thing because we have too much shortening. Okay, so this is shortening. <laughs> um, glue, and then wicks thingies with this thing on the bottom so you can glue it down to your jar thingy. And then essential oil for the smell. <laughs> So, with, oh, and a crayon, if you want it colored. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to take some shortening. you got to guesstimate because I really don't know how much to put. So you take your shortening and you put it in this thing, which is microwaveable safe because you don't want it to melt. It's with my finger. It's okay if you have too much. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in the microwave for like, oh, maybe I should, mm, yeah. I'm going to put the piece of crayons on it in it first, so it doesn't take that much time. Um, there are other ways to do this, but this is the easiest way because I didn't want to use an oven for this because that's too much work. <laughs> I'm so much Like a minute or so. Maybe I'm doing it myself. Put some more shortening in there, and then put it in there for like um, uh, just enough to get it melted. So I'm just gonna put it in there for a minute. You know. Yeah. And then you're gonna take your wick and your glassing, and you're gonna get out your glue. And then you're going to take your glue and put it on there. And you're going to want it to make it stick to the bottom of the cup so when you pour in the wax, or the, I wouldn't really call it wax because it's not, but, okay, maybe just stay. Okay, there. Then, so when you pour in the wax, it won't move. Um, seven out of ten households in the U.S. use candles, and candles are the biggest industry that's growing right now because if you haven't noticed like everybody's using candles because it's this new thing <laughs> <laughs> so then you have this and it's like melted and you're gonna want to take it and stir it this is to get the color that's why you use the crayon So this is the color that you're going to want it. You can add more crayon if you want to make it darker. And you really can't make it lighter because, you know, just can't. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in there for a couple more seconds because there's so much. So while we're waiting for that, <laughs> Take your essential oil, 
which you can have any scent to use for it, like vanilla or something, but I have lavender, and you're going to want to put just a couple drops because if you put too much, it will separate and happen to me when I did my first one. If I can get it out, oh, oh. two drops. And then you're going to stir it to make sure it's good. Oh, it smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and what you're going to do is, I don't think this was enough, but whatever, you know. Then I'll always use more. I'm going to pour it. <laughs> I did use enough. And then you're going to put it in the fridge, and when you cool, you're going to have a candle. See? So when you cool it, it will look like this, but it's not going to be jiggly because it's <laughs> in the So now you know how to make a candle from your house.